Oh, what's up, mother suckers? Good morning, good evening, wherever the hell you are, especially the people on the toilet. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bears G here, checking in all the way from San Diego Bay on land, surprisingly, not on my kayak, the super inflatable kayak. I'm here at Harbor Island, San Diego Bay. You guys can see the beautiful San Diego skyline right behind me. Well, kind of. I am currently out here today, Friday morning, with my son Liam. He is on his summer break from school and he wanted to go fish, so you know what? Packed our stuff Thursday night, walked in his room and was like, hey, you wanna go fish tomorrow? He was like, hell yeah, so here we are. So yeah, San Diego Bay, Harbor Island. You guys already know, this is my old stomping grounds. This is where it all began. Still itching for that kayak bite, but sometimes, you know, I gotta show you guys where my heart is truly at. And it is shore pounding here at Harbor Island in San Diego Bay. I know some of you guys enjoy it, some of you guys don't. But hey, it is what it is. I'm out here doing my thing, getting my lines wet, creating dope content for you guys to enjoy at home. And today I got my son with me. Uh, I did already catch a fish off camera because I was explaining to him how to use a mushroom head to work the bait slow, how to cast, all that stuff. You know, just getting him back into the groove of things. But so far, it has been pretty good. My question to you guys is, how have you guys been doing? Have you guys been fishing? San Diego Bay, Mission Bay, Long Beach, Huntington, Newport Harbor, anywhere and everywhere, wherever you guys are at. Let me know in the comments below. How have you guys been doing? What has been working for you guys? And um, how are you holding up? You know, how's life? Let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, guys, I'm just gonna hop right into it, get all geared up, slap you guys on my chest, get this day started, and try to catch some fish for you guys to enjoy, and myself to enjoy, and my son to enjoy, all right? So sit tight, don't forget to wipe, and enjoy the show, all right? Let's go. All right, good morning, good morning. Let's get it. I'm gonna start off with some top water. I see boils all around. Might be a bad idea. Might be wasting my time, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see what Harbor Island has to offer. Go ahead. Remember, you gotta work your bait slow, okay? Highly doubt anything's gonna hit the top. Be nice to get my first top water of the year today. I don't even know what tide we're fishing. I'm about to pull up the chart real quick after this cast. Let it sink for 10 seconds and then start working the bait. Yeah, I don't think top water is really gonna happen here today. Try to get further than that. All right, guys, it looks like we're fishing the incoming tide. Today is the full moon. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe not. Well, it looks like the tide is gonna peak out at 10.30 a.m. or 10.32 a.m. Currently at 1.61 feet, and it's gonna go all the way up to around a little under four feet. Not much, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get that macro. Hey, Liam, we're fishing the incoming tide, so cast a little bit to the right. What happened? You got pants here, bring it here. Oh, there it is. Little one, feisty one. got done helping my son fix his bait while this was still out there this guy bit probably 10 yards out a little spotty pretty young thing let's let him go gotta work it slower buddy look try to get that far in the cast and then look watch it let the watch it sink once it slacks out, tighten it up, tighten the line. And then when the line is tight, then that's when you start working the bait. Slow rolling and popping the underspin. You wanna go a little heavier? Yeah, it's pretty shallow, so you gotta get a little bit out there. You did get bit. Look, what's missing? The tail. Yeah, all right. Come on, let line out, open the bell. When you come up, 
when you're walking around look close it when you walk around with your lure if you're out here let go lay your line out tell about right here just in case people are walking around you can hold your bait right so so it's not dangling you want to be able to control your bait when you're walking around you don't want to walk around like this because if he walks by you accidentally hit him you want to drop this down grab the bait let the people walk by and do their thing and then it's easier if you want to switch baits you grab it hold it tight rod tip in or bring it right here that way you have enough room to work on your bait do you want to throw iron or you still want to throw plastic, plastic. okay check look it. check this out all right check this out you see how this hook is at the bottom yeah. you want to favor the top more so you hook it up through the top a little bit more so the bottom has enough space for the small hook you want to go in until it gets about right here just it's going to poke through on its own see that yeah then you push but don't push up here grab her right here and push slowly there you go this should be a half ounce a little heavier you need to get this out far you won't get anything up close unless they follow it in all right nope grab your bait nope right hand on your rod grab your bait all right get to your spot and then reel it up and then cast go for it bud all right whip it good Ah, uh, two. Yeah. I gotta get back into that stand, man. I'm so out of it. <laughs> I, used to, I used to walk this whole, whole shoreline. You know, I used to fish the shit out of uh, Texas rig plastic worm. Oh, dude, that's killer. You have a good day, sir. Good luck, man. Take care. So you could, you could do this. You could pop it up high, like bring it up and let it drop. No, slowly. A snag. Bring it up fast. So when you bring it up like that, try to hold the rod up like this. Now look, this is how much line you want out. Take your time, okay. That's good. Open your bail. Follow through all the way. There you go. You cast further if you do this. Two hands. Bring back, and you want to let go like right here, okay? Like right here. Watch. So you bring it back. Look. Pay attention. See that? Work it slow, bud. The current's not moving fast, so you don't want to move fast. So you want to work your bait slow. All right, see how my slack's up? Bring it up like that. Look. And as you come down, reel the slack up. There it is. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, that was another bite. You getting bit too? Just let them take it. Look, when they bite, don't set the hook. Wait for them to get the good bite, the good hit. So look, 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 pay attention. So when they're biting, bring the rod up until it loads up and then set the hook. And watch your line. <laughs> I know, he's swimming around. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, I missed it again. They're biting. They're biting. You throw this nasty, old, rusty cast master. See what happens. There you get the hang of it. Let it sink, let it sink. Just let it do its thing. Tough crowd. All right, guys. We uh, can't seem to find parking. Uh, there's parking at this spot right here by Tom Hams. As you guys can see right there. But that spot kind of sucks, to be honest. 
Well, I don't know if it sucks. It sucks for me. I know I get snagged up a lot there. But uh, we're just gonna drive back and forth until we find parking. We got about an hour and a half left to fish. I really want to put my son on his first fish of 2024. I didn't mean to like catch a fish in front of him on his own combo, uh, explaining to him how to <laughs> work the bait. Uh, worked the bait so good, I caught a fish. So far, two spotties, tons of bites, nothing committing. It is Friday, full moon, nice and overcast. It's gonna warm up to about 80 degrees today. And we're just gonna give it a give it a shot. Fingers crossed we catch something. If we don't, or if he does it, it is what it is. You know, can't get butt hurt. So yeah, at this point, it is what it is. I mean, I, I'm educating my son. Uh, letting him know it's fishing man you can't always expect to have a good time i mean it's a good time being out but you can't always expect to catch something man i don't know what to say i'm probably just gonna slap you guys on my chest because i found parking right by the the light right there you ready boy excited to catch your first fish of 2024 yeah and also use my new combo uh nope you gotta graduate to it i got him a new combo from hook being tackle it's a tatula combo left hand retrieve and he hasn't graduated to it yet until he catches something on his spinning gear so i'm gonna root him on and hopefully he gets one so sit tight again don't forget to wipe let's go Come on. Come on, something small. Macro! <laughs> Little one. Oh, my bad. Look at this. Tiny one. There it is. There it is. Hell yeah. Keep going. Take your time. Looks like a good one. I saw that. I was watching that. Let's see what it is. Whoa, that's a big Corvina. <laughs> All right, slow down, slow down. Maybe go get it. I got him. I got him. I got him. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> got my bait stuck when you threw it. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Woo! That was a new combo, Dad. All right. Um, you need a picture. Good job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got peeled, man. I've never seen a cool. He has a short fin Corvina. You can tell by the fangs. They call him the vampire fish. There's also white sea bass that looks just like it, but it has like stripes. Well, I'm trying to try to get a spotty baby Oh, you'll get him. Huh? Where is it? There he goes. He's good to go. He ain't dead. All right, go find your cast master. Hey, you got me beat. <laughs> that beats all the fish I caught today. I am happy for you. First fish of the year. And on the new combo. On the new combo. Whoa, combo. Whoa. <laughs> all right, so I got a couple this morning off of this. Mm -hmm. Here, take the whole pack. You sure? Yeah, it's yeah, fine. No, I can't. No, it's cool. You sure? Yeah, help you Thank out. Yeah, I appreciate it. No problem, man. I have too much tackle. He has too much because I have too much. 
Yeah. All right, man. You have a good one. Uh, what's your name? Jaden. Jaden. Nice to meet you, Jaden. This is Liam. I'm Tony. You good that? You can use it for you, too. You hooked yourself. I just rig it up like a screen. Look. Ooh. Split your whole entire finger with it. That Corina got me pretty good. You got a fish. That's good. That's good. I'm happy for you. Yeah, just uh, just rig it up like a normal swim bait. Right. So with this this jig head, uh -huh. let me see it. So with this jig head, it's gonna sit like that, like a Ned rig. Yeah. So it's gonna it's it's imitating a fish uh -huh. eat feeding off the ground. So all you do is pop it up, let them drop, pop it up, let them drop. Yeah, like jig it. Yep, pretty much. Right. Yeah, get it as far as you can, and right when you start reaching the gas, uh, the, not the gas. All right. The grass line working a little bit harder. I think I appreciate it. No problem, man. You too. Take care. We are wrapping it up right there. What a morning. We came out, we caught fish, and most importantly, we had a lot of fun. San Diego Bay, man, you are bipolar as hell. Last couple times I was out here, it was pretty damn rough, but you know what? Today, I brought my son with me. I brought backup, I brought reinforcements, and guess what? He caught his very first fish of 2024. What was it, you may ask? Bass? No. Mackerel? No. Not even a lizard fish. Not a barracuda but a short fin Corvina. Wow, his first fish of 2024. Short fin Corvina on his brand new bait casting combo, all on his own. With the three quarter ounce, rusted and beat up cast master I had laying in my tackle bag for who knows how long. But yeah, man, what, what a morning. It was, it, was, uh, it was a proud father moment, if you ask me. Very proud of my son for handling on his own, was able to hook up on his own, aside from me having to go down and land the fish by hand. That thing popped off the hook, got between the rocks. I was like, nah, you ain't getting away this time. Shoved my hands down there, grabbed his ass, brought him up. And, you know, hurt myself doing it. Cut my finger pretty deep. But hey, all in the game of fishing. It was a good time out here. I read to uh, some guys, I didn't get your name, but some guys from Arizona are in town. I guess they're subscribers of this channel. I'm gonna give a special shout out to them. I hope they did pretty good. I don't know how many days they were out here, but they told me they only had two hours left to fish in San Diego, and I hope they did well. They told me they caught some halibut, lizardfish, or some bass. And uh, you know what? That's what it's all about. Get out here, have a good time. Catch some fish, big or small, we're gonna try to catch them all. But this kid right here, did his thing. He did his thing. I'm really proud of you, boy. Love you, man. Oh yeah? <laughs> and also, a special shout out to a kid I met out here. His name is Jaden, all the way from, I think, Apple Valley. Hooked him up with some Kytex, some jig heads from Majorcraft, or by Majorcraft. And hopefully he hooks up on something because he was telling me he was having a hard time at the docks and in the bay. And he's here for a boat show with his family. So Jaden, if you're watching this, I hope you caught something and I hope you learned something out here. And I hope you're having a good time wherever you are. Get out here if you guys can. Have a good time, do your thing, and most importantly, be safe, you know? But yeah, enough of that. Let's uh, let's close it up right there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a thumbs up, it will help me out a lot. Subscribe if you already had not. And also check the description for everything I use in this video. Rods, reels, lines, lures, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up right there, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys didn't, thank you for watching anyways. As always, good fishing and Peace out.